morning ladies. This morning we're going to talk about multisensory teaching. We're going to be teaching about the heart today. For Dr Susie Nyman, more than 20 years of teaching science to non-scientists has taught her that a variety of colourful and interesting multisensory techniques is needed to help her students engage with complex information and the correct scientific language. The students find science really difficult. They tend to be turned off when they first come into class. And so you've got to do it in a fun and exciting way. So I try to do multi-sensory techniques, i.e. using sight, smell, touch, taste, in whatever way I can. We're going to do the circulatory song and we're going to do a laminated question. Susie starts each lesson by outlining the structure of the session. Her students know exactly what to expect over the coming 60 minutes. We start off by singing the key words to a song, for example, if it's the heart, it's Michael Jackson's Beat It, and that relaxes all the students and they feel really relaxed about those key words to start with. What's this one? Pulmonary artery. Excellent. The next one? Pulmonary vein. Good. Left atrium. Next one? In the next stage, we quite often make a model, a very simple model, out of Play-Doh so that they can feel it. And recently, I've found some smelly Play-Doh that they really enjoy using. And so the red smells of strawberries, the blue smells of blueberries, the green smells of apples, and the yellow smells of bananas. So it takes the students back to their childhood, which then they start feeling safer about the subject. What they like is the commentary. When we're doing the heart, I say to them, for example, the atrium. It's the largest room in the Roman house. So they've got this hook. And what's really important for my students is that they can visualise something that they can then link back to what they've got to understand. Um, when we get to the valves, the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve, I say to them, in Sainsbury's, you try before you buy. And they can all remember that. So then they can remember the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve. And by making giant mats on the floor and walking through it, they're more likely to remember it. Which then goes to the try before you buy. So we start with the tricuspid. So the tricuspid valve, which then goes here. And then we turn to the right ventricle, which then goes here. And the first time I used the heart map with a boy, he said to me, can I do it again, please? I didn't quite get it. And he did it five times. And then he went back and taught all his friends about the heart and relayed all the different parts back to them so that they could understand it. The learning environment is important too. It needs to be a space where students feel both inspired and comfortable. I'm really lucky at the college because I'm one of the few teachers that has their own classroom. So I take pride in making my room as exciting as it can be for my students, that the resources around the room, that their work is displayed in the room, and they really, really enjoy coming in here. They'll be champing at the bit outside, wanting to come into SS5 because it's a really, really lovely environment. So now we're actually going to model the digestive system using balloons. So which is the first part of the digestive system then? The mouth. Excellent. Susie's inventive approach to teaching science has made it a popular topic within the college, where pupils are eager to see what she'll come up with next. The biggest thing that I have with my students is their mindset. And they'll come in from school with a fixed mindset and you're moving it into a growth mindset. And we try and sort of break down the barriers of aiming high and, and saying, you can all get a distinction star if you want. You know, we'll support you in a way that enables you to be able to reach the top grade. Thank you very much for listening and competing today, ladies. That was really absolutely fantastic. So to recap the main points of Susie's multi-sensory approach. Use multi-sensory methods to fix learning in students' memories. Create a growth rather than fixed mindset. Find ways to make difficult vocabulary accessible and memorable. Personalise the learning environment to create learner ownership. <laughs>